So hey guys, we've been hearing a lot of stories that Thailand immigration is dysfunctional, it's difficult to use, they keep changing the visas all the time. You could go on and on and on with everything that you've been heard. There's a lot of moaning, there's a lot of griping. I'm not saying immigration is not difficult, to get into any country is not easy, okay? But let's, uh, let's keep it real. Uh, the immigration in Thailand is not that difficult, okay? Uh, so let's talk more about it. Uh, before we talk more about it, uh, if you think that these videos that we've been putting out are useful for you, consider hitting the like button or even subscribing to the channel. When you hit the like button, it helps to promote these videos so that more people can learn about it and that more people can, you know, have a good and easy time coming to Thailand just like you. All right, so anyway, let's really take a look at the facts, okay? So the fact number one is visa requirements have not changed in years, okay? I mean, let's just keep it real. Let's spit some facts, <laughs> what all the young people say these days. Uh, they have introduced some new visas. For example, the STV visa, they're talking about new retirement visas now and so on, okay? Well, really, the visas that were there before, the tourist visas, the retirement visa, all of those have not changed. The marriage visa as well, all of those have not changed, okay? Visas don't, air quotes, keep changing all the time. That just doesn't happen. Now, we're not saying that they haven't made slight tweaks, okay? So, for example, with the uh, retirement visa, they have now said that the, you will need some insurance to get the retirement visa, okay? Insurance is required if you're outside the country and you're applying for the retirement visa outside of Thailand. However, if you're inside of Thailand and you're applying for a retirement visa, so that means you're gonna change, extend your visa to a retirement visa, then uh, you don't need the insurance. Uh, and they might, tweak this change going forward. Uh, so that's one of the changes that are there. A, not a slight change is that for the, the, you know, they're always playing around with the financial requirements a little bit, but that's it. All of the same documentation that you've needed before, it's always been the same. You need your passport. You need, uh, if you're outside of Thailand, you need uh, some kind of uh, a police report you need a, a medical test. All those things are super easy, especially if you're in the United States and sometimes easier in other countries. Uh, you need uh, to have enough money to meet the financial requirements, so you just need some kind of bank statement or a letter from your bank in America or whatever country you're from. Uh, that's it, okay? None of that has changed. So um, yeah, visa requirements have not been changing in Thailand that much, if any at all. Uh, for many, many, many years now, especially since COVID came out, all right? So what are people mostly complaining about? People are mostly complaining about entry into Thailand, okay? So we hear a lot about the certificate of entry when it was uh, the thing to, to take. And now we're hearing a lot of griping about the Thailand pass, okay? So yeah, I agree. All of these things are, are, are prohibit, uh, are something that is a bit of a problem to help you to get into Thailand. So, um, to, but, okay, let, let's, let's restart that point there. But the Thailand pass, the certificate of entry, those have nothing to do with visas. They are not visas, okay? Uh, what they are is a entry to come, a restriction to come into Thailand based on COVID. Okay, so if you go into other countries now, like uh, Japan, Korea, so on, all of these other countries, you're gonna have some kind of documentation that is sorta of similar, or you're gonna have to meet some requirements. Some requirements. I think most countries now, some countries, or there are a few countries that don't require any sort of test that you can get into and so on. Uh, but uh, for entry into most of Asia, you're going to need some kind of PCR test, okay? That, that And that's mostly, it's not only a country requirement, but that's also an airline requirement. Airlines are not going to take you unless you have that PCR test, all right? 
uh, for Thailand specifically now, you're going to need some kind of COVID insurance. And as we said in previous videos, that is basically just travel insurance, but with uh, a little bit more money on it so that if you get sick by COVID, then you, you can be taken care of in the hospital. Okay. And it's just a little bit more than the price of travel insurance was before COVID. All right. So um, you're also going to need to spend one night or seven or ten nights in a quarantine hotel yeah even now um that's another thing uh ten nights in thailand if you're going to japan is two weeks if you're going to korea is two weeks if you're going to a lot of other countries taiwan forget you i don't think you can even enter taiwan at this point in time um all of these other more advanced uh countries in in uh asia it's really difficult to get in them right now Thailand is one of the most streamlined ways, has most as one of the most streamlined ways to get in at this point in time. All right, so that's about entering to Thailand. Or just to recap, it's not a visa. Okay, they keep changing these entry requirements all the time. All right, I know you're saying, oh, but Eric, you're splitting hairs or something like that. Yeah, I'm kind of splitting hairs. I mean, I'm just being accurate here. It's not a visa. All right. Okay, so number three is uh, you can do most of the paperwork by yourself. And uh, one of the reasons is because most of it is now online. I think uh, when in the, in the midst of the pandemic, Thailand realized with all the embassies closing down that they had to kind of get in line with other countries and, and get all their visa application stuff online. So for retirement visas, STV visas, tourist visas, and the Thailand pass itself, you can do all of that stuff online and there are some other visas as well that you can do online there is no visa agent necessary the application process is pretty simple when you go online you, online, you can see what's needed and um, if you don't have everything at that point you can save save where you were and continue the application where you left off since the last time pretty um, easy Everything is also in English. There's nothing in Thai. So um, you don't have to worry about um, if you don't understand something. All right, so um, the only time you need a visa agent um, is when you just want the stuff done for you, okay? You just, you just wanna sit back and get everything done. And, and to be honest, this is the reason why uh, many people come to us in the first place. They just wanna, not think about it, not have to, you know, um, lose any uh, sleep over it or anything. Just know that, hey, you know, it's just going to get done. Okay. Um, so what about if you're in Thailand and you want to go to immigration, you, you don't know, you, you're not sure about something. Okay. So, so the first thing you need to do is to make sure that your visa <laughs> is not expired. And to be honest, even if your visa is expired, you need to get to immigration as soon as possible. Okay, immigration is not monsters. They're not gonna like immediately throw you into a Thai jail with uh, a lot of drug offenders or something. That's not gonna happen, okay? You're gonna go to immigration, go to the front counter and state what you want. And then when you say what you want, just have a good smile with it. Be pleasant, be respectful, okay? It's very nice if you could say Saudi Krab, or Sawadika, depending on if you're a lady or a man. Um, it shows that you respect the culture a little bit. Don't be impatient, okay? And you will find that the immigration people are some of the nicest people around, okay? As long as you're nice as well. People reflect what they get, okay? So if you're impatient, people are going to be impatient with you as well. If you're not pleasant, if you're not smiling, people are not going to smile with you as well. All right. If you're not, all of these things is like, guys, just, it, it's just common sense. It's stuff your mom, your mom taught you. Okay. Your mom and your dad taught you. Okay. Be nice. And trust me. So, so it, let's say, for example, you want to find out if you, if you need to get an extension for some reason, you never watch some of our videos and, um, 
you can just go to the immigration the nearest immigration office and go to the information counter and make sure you have your passport with you make sure you have your your little white card that you got when you got, got into thailand as well and you say hey i'm wondering if i could get an extension and then uh, the person is going to say let me see your passport let me see your your entry card make sure you have those okay so you have both of those then the person is going to uh, say, okay, yes, you can get an extension. No, you cannot get an extension. Or, you know, and the person is going to tell you what to do. They're going to give you the forms that you need to do it. And you go ahead and get it done. Okay. The forms are also in Thai and English. So, you know, it's not like uh, it's in some weird language that you can't understand. It's, 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 it's understandable. Believe me. All right. So um, if you're if you have trouble understanding, you know, the Thai accent, even with somebody speaking Thai, then uh, this is one of those points where it makes sense to heed our advice of always try to make Thai friends and try to find somebody that will go with you. If you're scared of going by yourself, then we always have somebody on our team that can go with you as well. I mean, let's say, for example, you want to retire in Thailand. You can actually go to the immigration office and say, hey, I want to retire in Thailand. What do I need to do? And somebody will tell you step by step. You need this. You need that. You need that. You need that. And they'll, they'll make actually a checklist for you. And somebody will tick off the items that you need on the checklist. And then you can go ahead and gather all the paperwork yourself. And you're all set. Believe me, immigration is not that difficult. Okay, it's not difficult at all. All right, so really nice people up there. Um, take advantage of that, and you can do almost anything on your own. All right, so you've seen immigration is not difficult in Thailand. It's actually easier than a lot of other countries. I remember when I was immigrating to the United States. Uh, at the end of it, I had a file that is thick, like six inches. It's it's like really big. It was crazy, and uh, I've been to it. It just went through many, many, many years to finally get U.S. citizenship. And oh man, you, you're saying people are saying that. Oh my God, you have to do this in Thailand. I think the only downside to Thailand immigration, to be honest, is the 90-day reporting. You don't have to do that in other countries. But, I mean, other countries are even worse in that regard. For example, Vietnam, instead of reporting every 90 days, you actually have to leave the country and come back if you have one of those one-year tourist visas or something like that. All right, so um, those are things to think about with Thai immigration. So let's, the final point is that, um, so why do people still come to Ban Smile and why would you come to Ban Smile if you needed help with uh your immigration. Um, I would say there are like three kinds of people that come to us, okay? Um, number one is people who whose time is more valuable than money. And as we know, or you should know, as you get older, your time is much more valuable than any money that you have, okay? So these guys just want to just do things and you know have somebody just take care of it for them and then the second class of people is people who don't want to bother with the computers and filling out all of all the things online and uploading stuff and getting it wrong and so on um, we can do it for them as well and and the, set, the third class of people is just people who just want somebody to just do it for them it's not about time it's not about money they just don't want to deal with it they don't want to bother with it they don't want to you know they have some anxiety around paperwork and filling out forms which all of us do from time to time i mean every time i have to go to immigration or something i'm, I'm really anxious myself you know so uh i, I we, we can generally generally do it and you know for my for my own immigration stuff I actually use uh, our services or one of the lawyers that that work with us to um, to deal with my own stuff so so there you go because because I, I am a person I just want to get shit done you know I just I just want to get it done I, I don't want to think about it I, I just want to know that you know what uh, it's been taken care of and in this world especially for some of you guys who you have worked hard in your life you have 
done everything and now you you just don't want to come to Thailand and have to worry about another thing again okay so for a nominal fee you just pay somebody to just get it done this is how I run my life these days okay and it, it works for me I, I'm just less anxious and I don't have to worry about stuff and, and in Thailand by the way there is a <laughs> you have to be aware of this okay um, one of the beautiful things about living and working in Thailand and interacting with Thai people is that um, and what you have to get accustomed to is that people will just get things done for you but they won't really explain it what they're doing you see what I'm saying but it will just get done okay so uh, when I just came here first that drove me crazy for a while <laughs> Oh my God, I need to know how this thing is getting done. And then I just sort of started to relax, you know, and uh, uh, calm down and just know that, you know, because these people have been doing stuff for me for a long time and it's always getting done without any problems and they're not explaining how it gets done. I, I know it's been done legally and everything. So, um, yeah, you have to get used to that. And there is... It's just less transparency than you would uh, get in, in a different country. But that's just a cultural thing here. And, you know, once you once you understand that, then you're fine. So anyway, if you need some help with getting any of these visas or you need some questions answered, then there's a link in the description below. Remember, if this information was good for you, then like the video and subscribe to the channel we would really appreciate it because it helps us to keep everything going okay so until the next time guys see you then bye what are you waiting for 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 Yes, correct. What are you waiting for? The world may not be in a great shape right now, but it's very possible to come to Thailand. It's actually easier to live in Thailand for a longer time than it was before. With one smile can get you the right long-term visa, find a perfect house, open the local bank account, or even open the business here. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below or go to bansmile.com and get started.